Today, you can't just get up and go and buy a plane and say, give me a plane. No, they have to vet you. Who are you? How did you make your money? You can't go and buy weapons today. No, you must receive a letter from a government backing you. On what grounds and what would you use it for? What is the legal backing? If your weapons are found with a terrorist, what should be done to you? So when the Bible says he's the maker, that means there are many people who try, but their strength cannot reach your destiny helper. Their strength cannot restore all of the ingredients that must be coordinated in your life for your life to speak his praise. God is able to make. Hmm. It's one thing for God to take you somewhere, but it's one thing for God to bring that somewhere to you. Gentiles, your Bible says, shall come. There are times he will take you before kings. But there are times Gentiles will come to your light. And they are kings. These are the attributes that makes him mighty. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence so help comes help does not just appear there is a location where help resides it says my help cometh just like faith cometh my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth and I've said it here that it's not only heaven and earth he makes he also makes men he also makes destinies the maker of the heaven and the earth the maker of destinies the one who can pick an ordinary person from anywhere regardless the background and lift you listen don't be left behind god is shifting people into levels and dimensions in destiny don't sit down arguing and wondering can god make a way in the wilderness don't sit down and say i come from a village i am not as educated as i would have wanted to be i cannot even speak english well we're talking about the creator of the ends of the earth the maker it's a name and an attribute of God that very few people understand. To make means to combine the right ingredients and produce a definite outcome. Make rice for me. You go to the market and source for everything that you use to make quality rice. Are we together? Alongside the sense to combine them. You can buy the ingredients and not have the intelligence to combine them. You will still not make that thing. So when you call God the maker, that means he knows that for you to rise, you need prosperity, you need health, you need influence. Someone from Lagos needs to know you. Someone from London needs to know you. And like a, like a woman goes to the market to shop, he will go round by his spirit, shop for people and things. Bring them together to your life. This is what Paul was trying to say, that God is able to make all grace abound. Don't forget this example. The might of God. The one who is mighty is not just the one who does mighty things, but the one who can look for the ingredients. Listen, those of you who have vehicles, how many of you know that there are vehicles we hardly buy? Not just because they are expensive, but they are parts. They are rare. It's easy to, it's difficult to look for the parts. Today you can't just get up and go and buy a plane and say, give me a plane. No, they have to vet you. Who are you? How did you make your money? You can't go and buy weapons today. No, you must receive a letter from a government backing you. On what grounds and what would you use it for? What is the legal backing? If your weapons are found with a terrorist, what should be done to you? So when the Bible says he's the maker, that means there are many people who try, but their strength cannot reach your destiny helper. Their strength cannot restore all of the ingredients that must be coordinated in your life for your life to speak his praise. God is able to make. Hmm. It's one thing for God to take you somewhere, but it's one thing for God to bring that somewhere to you. Gentiles, your Bible says, shall come. There are times he will take you before kings. But there are times Gentiles will come to your light. And they are kings. These are the attributes that makes him mighty.
Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord. the God that we serve so when he moves mightily listen it's one thing for God to do signs and wonders but it's another thing for him to make you you become a living wonder it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and we are for wonders in Israel please believe this so that whilst we are praying you will remember again what God told you. That you may be small now, but I will lift you among your family members and put you in a position of grace. And then the devil tries to tell you, you, where did he leave all the people there? Then you just remember that the person talking is the maker. The maker. We're used to men making promises and failing. I will give you a job, they say. And by next week, they've been sacked out of that position. Because even though they were occupying that position as managers, there was an authority above them. You only become afraid of what God has said if there's someone higher than him. Because the person higher than him can stop him from doing it. But he swore, he searched if there was one greater. And not finding any, he swore by his name that by these two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. Please hear me. From any level and at any dimension in life, this God, this mysterious God is able to pick you from where you are and lift you beyond your wildest imagination. Please hear me, my dear people. Do not allow society bully you with their sense of mediocrity. Everyone was created. No matter the color of your skin, the mat, no matter what region, you are still a creature. The only person that you truly owe that fear and reverence is the one who created, who can change times. And if he has decided to tell you that this is your season, then believe it. Believe it. Don't believe that rubbish. I can't be lifted in Zaria. I can't prosper. I can't see the outstretched arm of God. Remember what I told you. It is not always that God takes you to the place of the blessing. There are times he takes the blessing and looks for you. Where are you? He will search for you. Let me give you an example. When Jesus was born, they didn't carry a baby looking for the Magi. Uh -uh. The Magi left their place of honor and they were searching around. They never said this place is uncomfortable. Uh -uh. Not when there is grace there. This is our vain search for greener pastures will only frustrate us for nothing. Greener pastures is where his word is. Where his word is. The sent word. Are you learning something tonight? So signs and wonders reveal to you that God is mighty. He's mighty. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I wrote this song many years ago. 
as a revelation of the depth of the comprehension of the might of God. It was a revelation that he brought to my life. Like Bishop Oyedeko would say, I didn't just see him high and lifted up alone. I saw myself too. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth. He says, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. I said, this is it. So every time I sing about him being highly lifted, first I take out time to worship him. But while I'm worshiping him, I know that I'm rising too. Seated with him. When you know this, you will refuse to allow situations and circumstances to defeat you and make it look like the walk on the cross was a, a, just some Christian fables. No, no. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power, not just the message, the power. There is power in that revelation. Hallelujah. So you know that you are not ordinary. This is not some Pentecostal talk. Uh -uh. The only part of the hands you can see is the one that is physical. But that's not all there is. There is more to it. The only part of a life you can see is the one that is visible. It is not only what is visible that is real alone. Just because something is invisible does not mean it is unreal. And the prophet said, open his eyes. And when he opened his eyes, he saw chariots, chariots, that you will see the backing of heaven that supports you, that you will see the favor of God, that you will see the spiritual arsenals that are, are around your life, determined to see that your destiny becomes a praise. Then fear dies. It dies a natural death. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that the mighty God is at work in my life revealing his glory revealing his power in my life